I was 10 years in the Navy and then uh, 10 years as a cop doing in the, you know, in SWAT stuff, SWAT medic type stuff. And then uh, self-rescue has always been just a pain in the ass. Like you could take a 20 year operator and throw him a traditional tourniquet and they will fumble, especially if it's any kind of incident happening. And I say that because I, I would fumble to it. I put a lot of tourniquets on. And so tax strap was basically an idea because you see guys even i did and you know in the desert uh pre-positioning their tourniquets on very like high risk calls it's it's a kind of a dumb idea because it doesn't really work and uh you know you really have to wrench them down to apply it anyway but it's a it's a thought and so when i was uh when i was looking at replacing the drop leg strap with a tourniquet uh I was initially attracted to like the BOA systems, you know, like the snowboard boots yeah, yeah. and ratcheting that down. And then I wasn't getting quite the torque I needed out of it. And so then I went to the ratcheting system. So, and that gives us a lot more torque. And then just through, you know, I made these at my kitchen table the first couple rounds of it. And uh, just through failing over and over again, we finally got to a, a system that works by taking a internal constricting band and then a load bearing band and keeping those separate. And that was kind of the magic of it is, because now you can take that load bearing band and run it through anything, uh, gas mask bags, IFACs, uh, other drop leg systems, doesn't matter. So it's kind of where it was born out of.